Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. This is Joe and Lorenzo in the background. Today we're gonna to make a special treat. It's for the holidays. It's a, it's a singing dish. And I remember as a kid, when we had family holidays, one of my aunts would always come over with a big pot full of what they called imbuliatas. And all it was was a Sicilian pork roll. It's the, that's the dialect for ambuliata. And now I'm going to make this for you because everybody loves it. And we used to eat them all night. You throw them in a, a little tin foil, you put them in a plate, you heat them up for 350 for a few minutes, and everybody loves them, including now my grandchildren. Right, Lorenzo? It's, it's amazing, guys. Okay, here we go. We're going to start. Okay, the first thing we're gonna have to do is I bought a pound and a half of uh, sweet Italian sausage. And I'm gonna show you what I do here. This is my Cutco uh, knife, my chef's knife. This is a good company. I used to work for them when I was young. Lifetime guarantee with their knives. You, the first thing you gotta do, I did the rest of them to save time. You gotta get the skin off the, off the uh, sausage. And then the other problem is these here sausages, they're kind of loaded with fat and they don't separate too easy. And we want to we wanna get this cut up as best we can and chopped up and we're going to saute it and render some of this fat away. So I usually cut it up a little bit and I'm going to show you as I'm cooking it right now to make things easier. We'll start it up. Okay, we'll get some of this started. You don't want to do it all in one shot because it'll cool off the pan too much. So do about half of it at a time. You see how it sticks together, even though I cut it. And then what I do is I use the cut those scissors as I'm frying it, and I keep ch ch chopping it up. It works good too. Pain in the neck, but it's worth it. Now you could use the sweet sausages like I did, or you could use the hot sausage. It's up to you. Not everybody likes the hot sausage or can handle it, so. You gotta be careful. Okay, so I'm gonna continue doing this and I'll show it to you when we get it somewhere closer to what I want it. Okay, this is the second batch I'm doing. I'm almost finished with it. It's very important that you do this because you don't want two bigger pieces going into the bread. And uh, this I found is pretty good. I get it all done. But you, you could also, I tried once putting it to my KitchenAid mixer with the grinder on it and chopping it up. That worked too, but it's another messy thing you gotta clean up there. So I do it this way now. It seems to work okay. So now what you gotta do is take this out, stop it. You don't want it too brown, but you want it nice. And we'll put it in here. Take all that oil and grease. We're gonna let it drain. Okay, now we're gonna let this cool down before we have to use it, and we'll get to our next procedure. Okay, our next procedure is to get our pizza. Now, if you don't want to make your own pizza dough like I did, we have our pizza dough on the on the on the website. Go and look at it. How to make homemade pizza? You can use that. That's what I did today. If you don't want to do that, you can go to your pizzeria and tell them you want to, whatever chopped meat, you, uh, whatever sausage you're eating, using a pound and a half, get a pound and a half of pizza dough and, 
and work with that. So I want to use my pizza dough that I made. It was fermenting for a couple of hours, and it's all set to go. Now what we do is you powder up the board pretty good, and don't play with it too much, and we're going to start making a rectangle with this. And every once in a while we got to rest. piece of plastic and then come back in a few minutes to it all right I rested it a little bit and I put a piece of uh, plastic wrap on it that's been oiled and we wanted about 12 by 21 we're pretty close to it now we're just going to go a little more here a little length about at least a quarter of an inch thick when you roll it out. With a minus 12 by 21, if you're using a small piece of dough, you're gonna have less. Yeah, it's close enough <laughs> for government work. Okay, now the next procedure is to just brush a little of this nice Juice over here, not on the bottom strip, because we're going to seal that. It's almost like you're making cinnamon buns. Instead of butter, you use an olive oil. why you don't want it too big. You want it to spread around a little. Some people buy the sausage without the casing. I've tasted that. It never seems like it tastes like the one that's in the casing. I know the butchers make it that way, but I don't know if it's the same. Give you fingers. All right, hold off, and I'll get back to you when I got this kind of evened out. Okay, we got it pretty fair, spread out pretty evenly. I tell you, your hands are your best, works the best. So now, what you do here. This piece is not going to be too good at the end here. Not too much sausage there. I'm going to keep rolling it up. Straighten it out a little bit. Go 
grandson's taking all my secrets. He's going to be a great cook. He is already. You saw his garlic and oil video. It was great. Now you got this here log pretty much here. Hold on a second. We're down to the bottom over here. And we got a little warm water. You don't put oil on this section. And you wet this up a little bit. So it kind of seals up a little better. Try and shape it up nice. And the best thing to do is to try and cut it in half so that you can work with it. Now, the next procedure, make them about, not an inch, about a little less than an inch thick. I eyeball it, put them like that, spread them down, put them on your pan. You're going to get, I think, 12 on a pan. It's about three quarters of an inch thick. Two. Okay, we got about 24 here, 12 in each sheet pan. I'm gonna cover them up like this, flatten them out a little bit, shape them better, you know, fix them up. Cover them up. Where's my other piece of plastic? Cover it up. Hold on, Lorenzo. Okay, I made my proof box in my oven got it at about 85 degrees in there with the light and I'm going to put this in there for about 45 minutes and then take it out and then start heating up the oven so I'll get about an hour proof on all these here put it in there okay and we'll be back in about 45 minutes, set the timer here for 45. Start. Okay, we had about a 45 minute proof here. So we're gonna take these out in my proof box. Leave them on the table for a little while. I want this now to rack to go to show B. Take this stuff away so that I'll block the stove. And we're gonna bake, what did I say, 410? Mm -hmm. Start, we'll give it 20 minutes to warm up, and then we'll put it in and bake. Okay, we preheated our oven to 410. We're gonna get our first tray and put it in. And we'll give it about 18 minutes. Kitchen timer, zero, one, eight, start. Okay, here we are, nice and done. Look at them, beauties. And I told you if, you, if you put them in the fridge and you put them in plastic bag, you can keep them a long time. And then when you want to warm them up, just throw them in some tin foil and uh, heat them up in a 350 oven until the sausage gets hot, maybe about 10, 15 minutes. And they're great. You're gonna, you're gonna eat so many of these, you're never gonna eat your dinner. Have a happy holidays, enjoy your holidays, and we'll see you soon. Enjoy this.